Hi, welcome to the second edition of Frequently Asked Questions for the Excel search or the Excel uh, fuzzy search. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bring up the whole table rather than one name. So I get that question all the time. People go, hey, how do I just do a search? And I, I want to bring up the whole table. I don't want to deal with all of the other videos, which is fair. So how you do that is, first of all, I'm just going to grab these um, column headers. Paste them right there. Secondly, I'm going to alter my VLOOKUP. So I have this VLOOKUP formula right here. It goes from A to C. I'm going to make that go from A all the way to M. So that's from my data ends. You can make it further if you'd like. It doesn't really matter. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to alter this number right here as I copy it over. So rather than keeping this at, at uh, number three, I'm actually going to just do a little trick called columns. And I'm going to take columns B8 through B8. I'm going to make one of these a permanent reference. And I'm just going to add two because we start at number three column. So this should equal a one. If I go in and go to my formulas tab and hit calculate now, so that equals one plus two, so that brings me to three. And um, because I locked one cell as I drag it over, it'll actually keep it going. So as I drag it over to company, it'll be four, and then address, it'll be five. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to bring it down just like that. And I can make these columns a little wider. And so if I type in a, a name like A right here, I get all the A's that come up and then all of the equivalent data. There you go. That's how you do it. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video. This is a frequently asked questions number two. Um, and I think I should have a couple of more of these. Um, anyway, if you have questions, you can email me at xlsxgeek at gmail.com.